Hello, Zed heads. Welcome back. Zed ship here. Uh, I think I'm asleep. My dude's just literally having a snooze on the ground. I don't know if you. Uh, do I have to do something to wake him up? Oh, there he is. Hey, man. Have a good snooze. Valentine. Oh wait, I've got a bounty on my on my head. Whoops. Do I need to go and pay that off? Probably should. I'll get in. Uh, I'll get arrested if I the rosers see me. Let's um. Where do I have to go? Over here. Yeah. Okay. We'll pay it off. What did I get a bounty for? I can't remember. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. in here yeah it's in here halt morning mister all right mate Hello. If you would give me a minute, please. I don't want to give you a minute. I, wanna... I don't even want to know where that money came from. What can I do for you? Oh, what we? Okay, pay all. Yeah, let's just pay. I'm shocked you didn't get jumped walking in here with that kind of price on you. Well, see what happens, so that... dude. Be was I was just walking down New Hanover. These two guys started talking some shit to me and then I had to defend myself, but apparently I was in the wrong, which seems unreasonable. Seems unreasonable, but whatever. Right, so, is this? I finger fill it. Right, I reckon. I'm gonna get myself a bounty. Hey horse eh? See I clean up my horse first. I don't know if he needs a clean, but we'll give him one anyway. And give him a carrot. And uh Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that thing. Oops. What? Uh, okay. Maximum. <clears throat> Good. Got some maximum bonding with my horse. Good morning, mister. Needs money. Why don't you go get a bounty? That's what I'm doing. Morning. Hey. 
If I ain't mistaken, oh, you're oh. looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. All right. Oh, here we go. This wall. Inspect the bounty. See what we get. Well, it looks like trouble, all right. Twenty-five dollars. Oh. I mean. That one? They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. Be relentless in your pursuit. Real hard. Oh, okay. Cumberland Falls, where's that then? Down here, okay. Out a hunting. <clears throat> Maybe I should start doing some of the missions. I'm going to do this uh, bounty and then I'm going to start doing the story missions again. What's going on down here? This horse is a good boy. I think I'm fully. I can't uh, increase my bond with this. Really, May? Really, May? You think you're so great? It's this guy. Strutting around, nose in the air, holding hands with that dog. Kid. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll okay, come man. around. Yeah, I've been waiting. You wait, Lily May. Well, someday I'll show you. 
I'll be rich. A nice Who's big this guy talking to? house. You'll be begging me to court you. Yeah. Uh, all right, mate. See ya. Nice chatting to you. Holy May. Let's go, boy. Okay, was weird. He's wanted alive, okay. So where is she? Have a look around, see if I can find this lady. Oh, I see her. There's a bounty hunter. Get him! Hell yeah, no, I'm sorry, but I, no, I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the fella. What Ow. kind of men are you? Puny, backstabbing little. Ah. All Ow. men are useless. Ah. Ah. <laughs> she stabbed me up. <laughs> That's so harsh. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> I didn't realize she was going to be so uh, aggressive. Damn. I, I seen a newspaper. That there's a bounty hunter. Get him. Hell yeah, I'm sorry, but I... I'm, I'm gonna make you go with the help. What Ow. kind of man are you? Puny. You're done now. Oh my. <laughs> you are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Rot with the rest of them. You better check her pockets. She might have a weapon. Uh, you don't mind, do you? You wait there a minute. She she just like literally stabbed him in the neck. That's harsh. Did 
I've got some cheese here. I need some cheese. Take that cheese with me. Salmon. Apple. Yep, I'll have that. I'll have all your stuff. Right, you lady. When you get on my horse. Don't you man handle me? I'll lady handle you. On your pop, lady. Let's go for a ride. Come on, pal. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. <laughs> oh dear. What came over me? Did I, did I just do those things? <laughs> it's, a, it's a horrible blur. I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. We're really. I promise I am. You mm. believe me, mm. don't you? Don't you, miss me? Not interested in your jibber jibber. Help, okay? I, I have an illness. A fever of the brain. I've done bad things. Uh, a jail. A jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, mister. Please. Save me. Save me from the sheriff. Mm -hmm. And moreover, from myself. Yeah, yeah, lady. Heard it all before. You're going straight to jail. You're such a strong man. So tough and burly. Burly. Maybe if I had a strong man like I you, am burly. I wouldn't be in this mess. My men folk, they all been weak. That's what my problem's been. How I got in this unfortunate situation. But a big strong man like you, you'd set me straight, wouldn't you, mister? Mm -hmm. Put me on the straight and narrow. Be quiet with that. Got it. I seemed a bit wrong, punching her. I hate you, you sad sack of shit. I wish I'd cut your belly open and show you your guts. Gutless bounty hunt nobody. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I think she hates me. I wish you die. I wish. She's not happy. I mean, we could take her to a doctor. Is that a thing you can do? Nah. We'll go get the 25 duck bucks. We need that. Get me there. You need You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. No fun. Come on, lady. Let's go into jail. Hello. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> that we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. 
Man just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? <laughs> I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Where is it? Give me my cash, bro. Oh, there. The Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Yeah, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to thank you She's gonna try and seduce the sheriff, is she? Well, who's this? Mary Linton. All right, yeah, I don't really want to go see her just now. So we've got this mission here, Micah, or this one, Javier, something or other. Okay, let's go Micah. Let's go and see what Micah's got to say. I think he got, he got himself arrested, I think is basically what happened. Hey, get moving. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. How you doing, boy? Hey, partner. My horse needs a clean. Okay, well, let's brush him then. There you go. Right. Um, I think I could do with some food. I'm just gonna eat that. Let's go. Have myself some venison. could do is uh, have a and drink that thing Clear off, do you?
gonna end what? God damn idiot. Should've let me cross. Yep. I mean, should've let me cross, shouldn't they? Three bucks on him. Yeah, it's got some cash on them. Guys got an oil. Good uh Let's clean my gun. Yep. Shooting down there. Yep, yeah, too. Are you shooting bottles off the thing? What do you reckon? What? Whoops. Maybe I wasn't supposed to shoot that guy. I got some sad music.
These fellas up to. I'll speak to this guy, see what he's got to say. Hey, fella. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed <coughs> Timber Company. Head farming. Oh, yeah. I'm getting started on this site, but we should have some. Fine, big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, should might need some lumber by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? I'm starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. All right. I've got some stuff. What do you want? Some coffee? Uh, what else do you want? Some beans? Kidney beans? Peas? That's all I got. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. All right. Sell supplies to the foreman for profit. Okay. So we got a, a new source of cash there. It's good. I mean, if we went hunting and cooked some food, could we like we could make cash out of that guy hunting potentially? Not right now. Think of a good reason to say no. Let's take him. Lead the man. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Well, well after you, go, what possessed me to come out here? I'll never know. <laughs> go, man. Why don't you jump what are you on the doing horse? Out here, anyway. Clearly, ain't your natural habitat. I don't uh, know. I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. <laughs> Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. 
I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose sí. some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me... Tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile you have this... Mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm <laughs> tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. A little taken. Can this guy not, like, just get on the horse? Be a lot easier. Oh yes, this does look familiar. This way, dude. I don't even know where I'm going, but he apparently knows where he's going. So it's the main thing. into this town before. Looks like we're close. Sir, you've rescued me from the depths! You mm. seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. Well, see you, mate. Nice chatting to you. Maybe stay in town for now, huh? A rock and a hard place. Thanks anyway. Uh, New Yorkers. Jesus. Even the best Damn New Yorkers. Damn it to hell. Chat what the way, him? mate. Huh? So, oh, here we are. So, oh, yeah. so. He's in jail. You can rest now, boy. Let's go and see what's going on with Micah, shall we? Sir, I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hmm. Let me out of here, you maggots. Locate and speak to Micah. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. 
Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. <laughs> well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Mm-hmm. You got any dynamite? Find a way to free my car. Okay. Do I have dynamite? I don't think I do. I think I got any dynamite. Maybe well, that steam donkey over there still works. Well, this thing. Maybe yes. it does. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. Okay. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. How is this going to work? Bo -bo 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 Whoa, it actually worked. Let's get out of here, come on. Wasn't no Driscoll. Should've known you were up to no oh. good. him let's try and change weapons oh, I can't It takes a lot of shots. Where are we going? Making a house call. Uh, there's more of these morons. Uh, 
You died. Oh, Micah died. Micah got himself shot. Silly sausage. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. Build, I'll loot this dead body while he's. Micah. I hate these missions when you're relying on someone else. To not get killed. Damn it. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. 
<laughs> and you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Bloody Maker, punk. I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta <laughs> act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back of strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. An off-hand holster. Oh. They carry two sidearms on dual. Ooh, nice. Two sidearms. Well, that sounds alright. So, oh, that's in lockdown. Robbery's in lockdown. Serious crimes. Whoops. Can we go and see what Javier's got to say? 270 bucks in that place, man. A big, uh, that's a big bounty. Okay, we're going, we're going, uh, go there. All right, tell you what we'll do. We'll make a we'll make a little campfire and we'll have ourselves some food and coffee and whatnot. So, how do we find this stuff? The time and things. I think I saw... We'll eat that. Right, let's go back. Let's just go and sleep. up a tent. That'll do. Does that just let you sleep longer? I don't know. Sleep till noon. Had a busy day, so we'll have a little rest. this potent snake oil. Make it. 
Let's make some snake oil. Cook it faster. Explosive cartridges. Sounds good. Take my camp down. So, if you, if you hold this down, does it show you where the herbs are and stuff? Get out of here. Oh, they're going that way. Okay, we're out of here. Follow this train track. this he's this guy <laughs> all right mate Why that guy? What was that all about? Uh oh. Let's 
see. I don't know what the hell happened there. Oh shit. What the? <laughs> Whoops. Yep. You're right, horse. I fell right off. Yep. And there's a lot of lawmen in this area. Probably, uh... Stay off the roads. West Elizabeth. a snake or something. They come from. Yeah, we're here. those fools.
I'm dead. Dead. That's why I am. I was trying to eat the, the tonic at the, at the just as I got shot in the head. I don't suppose it matters how much uh, tonic you drink when you've got a gun shot in the head. Something that uh, restores health. Sweet corn. Yeah. Yep. Is this place? practice. Come on, boy. I need to give my horse some food. Oh, what the hell? again. Need to get out of this place. This place is crazy full of the law. We can come back and pay off our debts. Okay, let's see where we're we gonna go. Right, we need to get out of here. Bro, 
strawberry. Go there. Lucky me. This ranger. Go and see what this is. I just don't understand this at all. Hey, over here. Mm -hmm. You up to me? What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me, Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. 
There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South That's America. It. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago Shikoku. in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Hmm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps oh. to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ten dollars. All right. Ah. Uh, I'll buy what it. What the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Did we just get scammed? So what? Look at this map. See no the map where's the river in this map then on that side nope I'm not very good at this. Ah! 
Unlucky mate. Where are these guys anyway? This guy. Don't know what he's up to. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, I can't do it here. Your story is nearing its end. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh. Who's this guy? Oh. That's a good shot, eh? He wrecked me. Died quite a few times today. Not very good at this. It seems. It's cowboy and cowboy and malarkey. <laughs> Keep getting shot. Damn it. You know what? Let's uh I need to make a camp. Guy needs to sleep and food. Stringy meat. Sleep till the morning. Have some food. Yeah. 
Yep. Oh, I run over a rabbit. Sorry, rabbit. It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. They well, all say that. I never met an idiot that Well, hello there. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Yeah. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance <clears throat> of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? 
Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. Okay. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd <laughs> love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. By marriage. <laughs> I'm gonna go rob his cousin. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Yeah. <laughs> Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. You get rid of that, um... ...thing. Annoying. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Yep. Oh, hey. Hey, Bella. How's it going? Uh, I, am I? I don't know. I guess I am. I think, I found a, I found a fence somewhere in a random place, so I did sell some stuff to them already. Yeah. I sold the gold bar that you, you found for me, or helped me find. 500 bucks ago for that. I spent it all on guns. We're gonna go steal this guy's horse, uh, wagon, or whatever it is. And then uh, steal his money by the sound of it. Where are we going? Over here. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Okay. On foot it is. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Right, wait a minute. I need some uh, weapons. Although they did say not to shoot anyone. Maybe I don't need weapons. But we'll... I don't know. We'll take... Take my rifle. And my... And my guns. Do, 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 do. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. Go steal it. Let's walk it up. Okay. You think Let's at night time? Okay. Hold L1 to. Alright, yeah. You've got binoculars, don't you? Yeah, I've got binoculars. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. Where I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, you reckon? distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Wait sneak until nightfall. in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? I think nighttime. On Bella's advice. Let's wait. Let's wait. Smoke them. Smoke them if you got them. Have a smoke. And I sit down. Okay. Let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Okay. Let's go. 
Let's get in this house and steal some stuff. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. All right. Make sure it's all quiet. All quiet like. Crap, there's a woman right there. <laughs> there's someone asleep, literally there. That counts as the noisiest footprint footsteps ever. Oh crap, there's a guy. That chest. Fine purse. Yeah. chimney okay chimney in the kitchen let's have a look in here search the chimney that's where you keep your cash where where the fire goes there we go bam 150 bucks Man. Get on, dear boy. How do I get on? Get on and let's head back. Okay. Let's go. Well, that was all right, wasn't it? Good bit of stealing. Bit of robbing. Ginseng. It's good to drink. Oh, okay. What does it do? Does it give you, like, extra health? Bum, 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 bum. Follow horse. I like the stagecoach music. This is good. Hmm. Less problems the better right now. 
just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece, and it's a good night's work. There's some good tips there. Thank you. So what were you able XP boost. Okay. Cool. Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. We robbed them. Easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. <laughs> and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. I think if I, uh... Then this? Is it this one? Didn't sing elixir. Consuming this will give you health experience. No. Let's have some. I think we've learned our lesson there. Okay. Nice. And a few other lessons besides. I hope so. Oh, that increases so sure your health that. bar, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Just nice. pull the coach into the barn there. Nice. Which barn? Oh, this barn. Okay. One horse. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Hmm. Quickly. Going in. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. Okay. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh... Yeah? Sure. Let's go back to camp. Now we can steal stagecoaches and sell it to that dude. Sweet. I mean, we can do a bit of robbing. Seamus runs a fence. Was it a fence or something? Yeah, okay. So, what's that over there? Hi there, Arthur. No, hold still. What are these guys up to? Pearson said he's short a little meat for the pie. Stop it! This ain't funny! Oh, I Mr. disagree! Morgan. Now, why are you Mr. so Morgan. afraid of a pair of gallons? Mr. Dogs? Pearson, <laughs> quite a country. Quite a country. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. Well, oh, you can play poker here now. I've seen terrible things. And then. Come on, who's gonna play? Who's gonna play? Yeah, okay. Got a game together. Are you playing for one buck? Come on, man. The same basic principles apply. Is to make a belly. One dollar. Not go backward. Uh, pocket queens. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna bet that. 
We'll go seven. No, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go seven. Mm. All right. Well, he raised me. Okay. Well, we'll we raise him. How about an extra twenty? All right then. Okay. Queen, please. Oh, dude, an ace and a king. At least it's something. That is not a good flop for pocket queens. We're calling the ten though. Give me a jack. Show me the jack. Oh! How about this? I hope you haven't thought that through. I mean, I'm just going all in. I reckon all in. All of it. Very brave. Ah, how unfortunate for you. Mm-hmm. Well, what do we have here? Unlucky, bro. There. We're in some trouble, my friend. God. Woo! Boom. That is certainly Give me the money. Mm-hmm. Yes. I mean, he had King Jack as well, so he had one of my Jacks. Well, that was horrible. Until. Hey, pal. Off, way, off, back off to bed. Seen my compass? I didn't know you had one. Yeah, yeah, I had it since my first day in the Navy. Can't believe I'd gone and lost it. Mm. Well, keep my eye out for another one. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. King you know, four. the amount we move around, it's a useful thing to have. Yep. I'll check. Oh, he wants a compass. Okay. Well, that's a good flop. I just a little wager. Just a little. That'll do. Juice it a little bit. Oh, he's gone up a bit. Okay. I'll just call. Just call. Check, please. Mm, how about this? Okay, I accept that seven pence. Whoa. Seven cents. Right. Check it. Uh, Check raise this no. guy. Okay. Um here. There. Oh man. Uh oh, what's he got? Two pair. Oh we can't fold. See Just call. Moment of truth, folks. <laughs> Idiot. Wow, Hell with lucky. this. I could have got it all off him. Uh, had a bad feeling too. Yes. I thought he had two pair. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I fold. Oh, shame, shame. Shame, shame. Hi, Tails. You okay? Hmm? Hello. Hello, Maria. How are you? I hope you're well. I'm good, thank you. Hi. Tails Tails is here. Tails says hello also. We gonna pick this up? Uh -uh. I can't see the screen because he, he's in the way, but <clears throat> uh what have I got? Ace high. I think I'll just check it. Uh uh no. Eyes on this. It's got nothing. That's oh he got a two on the river, dude. Ah oh, damn. Uh huh. I was winning till that. Oh no, he had a jack. Oh, he had two pair. Okay. Why did he not bet? Why would he not bet with two pair? Huh. Yeah. There's a lot of good game around the heartlands. We should eat well if people actually get out and do some hunting. I was thinking the same thing. Ah. Huh. Good boy. Uh. Mm. Um, Your head's in the way, Tails. I can't see. 
cannot see. Um, check. I don't can't even remember what I had. 7 4. Not very good. Now we're out with this. Check it, please. You here to make some money or what? You can have it. Wish there was a lantern on this table. It's very dark. Look at us. Things can't be that bad. I hear you. Uh, I will call. Uh, I'll see you. Check. Four eight. Not very good. Not very good. Check it. I don't think. Here, just a little. Just a little bit. All right, just this. Oh, what? Raise me. Okay. That's all. My lord, you're born. Can I have a five, please. Five would be nice. That's crap. Check. Here, let me catch your eye. Oh. Ah, crap. Mm hmm. Okay. Just got mind something. If I do. I don't think I can win. Is basically with eight high. This is bullshit. Pocket fours. Call. I'm gonna see you. Um. Check. Nah. Check again. Jeez. No. These guys call sure, every fun. every bat. I'm gonna nah. check also. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's settle this. Uh yes, that's it. Damn. Mm-hmm. All right then. All right then. Good. Oh, I didn't do that. Sorry. Howdy. Howdy. Got hard to still be in this. Yeah, it's not bad. Thanks. Pretty good. Uh. I'll go four. I'm a play slow. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Just having a quick game of poker. Um, I'm try. I, I want to try and. Uh, I've got a ten. Okay, that's all right. I think there's some achievement that I'm supposed to get for the poker. So six there pence. Six ah, cents. Oh, too bad. Okay, he's got nine cents left. We're just gonna put him all in, in the next. He's probably got a king. Go and he's in. got a king. I got a call. Oh. What do we got here? Oh, he's got ace high. You go. ah. okay. That is some cold comfort you're holding. Okay, good. <laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> well, thank yeah, you very much. Play. I will take that money. Again. Hey, right. Until next we play. E a Pearson. Oops. Okay. We, we just have to get rid of Lenny now. You're fine, just a little more. There. Mm -hmm. Check. 
Better half pot. To get dull. Well, see. Any Things beginning to look up. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Tails. Come here. <coughs> okay. This is my cat Tails. Right. I don't know if you can see him. Right. You can see his tail. It's That's there. As it it's be. right there. Hey, hi. Yep. I'm almost getting bored here. Yeah, you savor it while it lasts. <laughs> he just sits there and stares at me sometimes when I'm streaming. I know. It ain't too exciting. Come on, see ya. Hi. We got a jack. We do have a jack. Hmm. Half pot. That's what I got. Damn, things are looking okay. Yep. <laughs> yes. Ow. The ow. Oh. Getting stuck in a rut here. Man, you're real unlucky, ain't you? The ow. Hmm? Shall we just play a little more? Oh, the V2. Hmm. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Dude. That was rude. <laughs> Not very nice. Knock my hat off. <laughs> Funny boy. Uh, four seven. No thanks. Mm -hmm. We're not playing that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find that clip. I'm gonna clip that. <laughs> uh, had to break sometime. Check for me. Check for me. Uh, check. No. Here. We don't want to play with that. Queen high is still good, mate. Mm. You can have it. All right then. That'll do. <laughs> Fine, I right, call. With King High. What do we have again? King three. We've got a three. I'm gonna call any bet. I'll check. Okay, we're betting this one. Yeah, I know. Pretty pathetic. Well shit. Yeah, let's go. Huh. Yes. Check. <laughs> well. What the hell are you waiting for? Back. Good cards. Uh, I've got nothing, mate. You, you have it. Mm -hmm. Mm. <gasps> bumper! It's a bumper pixel! Welcome! I know, right? Lenny's doing rubbish. 
How are you, Pumper Pixel? I hope you're well. It's been a while. How's things? Come on, uh -uh. ain't that much to think about. It's a bumper. All right then. Woohoo! Just uh, just playing some poker. Lenny's doing bad. We've knocked out two of the other players, and Lenny's he's getting he's getting wrecked. He's only got 40 cents left. We're, about, we're getting ready to take the rest of it. Forgive me. It's all I can afford. Oh, he's in trouble. We get a... Thank you. Thank you, partner. <laughs> we get a good flop. Oh, it's not a very good flop. Not very favorable. We'll bet a half pot anyway. Uh, how about that? Long way to go, I was getting in the I was getting in the swing of uh, cowboy, you know, cowboy style. Keep going. Bet That's eleven. Uh oh. He's not gonna fold, is he? Uh -oh. We'll just put him all in. Here. Oh damn. There. Cold. Oh, you can no, just taste no. it. He had two fives. Now that is a real Three fives. Oh, is Damn. Is all this mine? Damn. How did he get two fives? He had nothing. He had queen high. What the hell is this? Wait, you ain't bust? Huh. All in. I know you. Yeah. Well I was all I was I was all in. I put him all in. Uh, no. Got, he got lucky. Mm -hmm. We don't want to double Lenny up. Come on. Let's get Lenny. Steal his money. Let's get his money. Pocket eights. There we go. Now we've got a hand. Just a little wager. Put a little bit extra in. Uh... Get your money in, mate. Come on, give me an eight. Yes, no, no eight. Damn it. We'll go seven pence. There we go. Seven cents. You keep calling them pence. Oh, damn. Raised. Why does he raise me? Six five. Has he got a six? I mean, all in. You got a six or a five. Oh god. Two pairs now. I'm gonna go all in, so mm, how about this? Well we'll call I ain't it. buying it. I ain't buying it. Oh an eight on the river. He's in so much trouble. Oh <laughs> Will I check it and let him bet it? Or so I'll just bet because he might check it. That's what I got. That's what I got, mate. All in. Give me this one. Come Unlucky, on. mate. <laughs> Bam. And he had an ace high. <laughs> well, he called an all in with the ace high. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what an idiot. Lenny. What have you done, Lenny? See ya. Thanks for all your money, guys. Bye. Thank you. That was that fun. Is it for me. Bye. Well, there we have it. We, we took all the money. Uh, shall I go? I'm going to have a go, go have a lie down and maybe change my clothes. And actually, should I um, contribute some cash? We'll go give them some money. Uh, not some money, some items. What can we give them? Pocket watch. Now I'm gonna. I'm keeping that. You can have a. You can have a bracelet and a gold watch. And a bucket, a buckle, and a ring. Actually, just just give him all these stuff. Just give him all that stuff. There you go, guys. 
There are 43 bucks I just donated to you. Hmm. Like, see, all this money has been provided by me. Who else has been giving cash to this camp? Any of you boys ever made it to Australia yet? <laughs> Bill, you ever get there in the army? So... I don't believe for one minute that you ever made it to Australia. Mm. Well, man, you'd be right. This is armor supplies. But I tried. I made it as far as Chicago. Chicago ain't no chicken coop. Chicken coop. No, Add nutrition to all caps used. Dead and abuse when consuming No way. Um, I am gonna get. I'm not gonna get any of this stuff. What kind of lunatic? Yeah, I'm gonna get this. There we go. We upgraded the the tonic, the medicine, whatever, mad wagon. Okay. Good job. Well, there's a dream we ain't had yet. Alright, let's have a little sleep. Till morn. Until the morning. Sleep. I, I, I need a rest after my long game of poker. There we go. All right. What's this? Oh, Arthur's father. Arthur's dog. Hey, man. Good morning, Arthur. It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out round that way, looking for a peace offering, he said. Hmm. A peace offering, he said. So, um, where should we go now? What's this? Mary Linton. Oh, yeah. That's that lady. I think she used to be my old... My ex, basically. I get awkward. Let's go speak to her. Morning, mister. All right, mate. Let's jump on my horse. Good horse. Where am I supposed to go? This way. Okay. Right, let's go see this lady, see what she's got to say for herself. She's my one true love. Oh, is she? Oh. She got away. Shame. Was it because I was too busy gunslinging and playing poker? She, she left. She married another man. Is that what happened? Let's find out. That's my guess. Out of the damn way. I'll see. I realized I can do this. It's not it. Okay. <laughs> it was a good guess. It was worth a guess. Who's that guy? What? Did he want my help? 
go see what he said. Out the way, you fools. How you holding up? What? What's wrong with you? You pathetic old man. What's happened here? You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. All right. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. Oh, come on. He seemed like he had it under control. He'll be all right. Uh, where am I going? Down here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, go! Faster horse! I'll give the horse a biscuit when, I, when we get here. Have a biscuit. There you go. An apple. Maybe that'll keep him going. Right, who, who's this lady then? A uh, decent house going on here. What we loved once and true. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Hmm. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. I'll go see. See if she's in. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Well, hello. hello, Arthur. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's um. Where's what's his name? Died. Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Hmm. Bad business. Sure. Pneumonia. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I'm not interested in you, Arthur. Listen, <laughs> Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? Them? It's my little brother, Jamie. Mm -hmm. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, <laughs> Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Chelonians. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Mm -hmm. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. Nuts. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so <laughs> innocent, Arthur. Please. Such an innocent Arthur. boy. He went and joined a cult and now Will he's... Will you help me? <sighs> okay, fine. We'll help Mary. Where is it? Somewhere out near Let's Carmody go and help Dell, her. I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Mm-hmm. You already owe me. <laughs> Double owe me. Come on in. To wherever I gotta go. To the. Is this it here? 
Mary Linton. We need to help bring our brother Jamie home from a cult called the Chelonians. Okay, let's go there. Make our way to the Chelonians. Put that house there, right in the middle of the road. Should be a place to put a house. Crazy builders. Let's put it in cinematic mode. Uh oh. Right. <laughs> Down the road. That's it. Follow that road. Chelonians seem like a fun time. Yeah. We're gonna have to beat the Chelonian out of this guy. Lenny's book, that is. You keep hidden all that matters, sir. Maybe even from yourself. All right, friend. Okay. That's the dollar that I won off Lenny playing poker, so. I'll give it to the blind man. Why not? I just run over a rabbit. Sorry about that, rabbit. Fellas. Hello. 
recent rediscovery of theology. Gentlemen. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? <clears throat> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. Chosen a path. A path okay. to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen, chosen path. safety. What path have you chosen, sir? The path of the righteous man. Hold LT. Uh, let's see. I'm undecided on my path. Um, still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Um... Stupidity. You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase! Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Pretty much. Uh... Yeah, I am. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy! Urgh. Goddamn lunatic! <laughs> Am I getting through to you now? Stop it, Arthur! <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur! A kid, come on! This is crap! You're better than this! Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise! Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man! Sure. But come home. No, not a chance. Oh. Where are you going? Let's get him lassoed. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. Yep. Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Hold your horses. Can't reach him with my lasso. Lasso. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> They're just using you. Tell you what you want to hear. It went straight into that thing. Kapow. Sorry, horse. That was bad driving on my part. I'm sorry. Whoa. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Probably supposed to miss that uh, wagon, I imagine. Oh, okay. Maybe I should uh, let the horse do the driving from now on. Telling, are you telling me the horse is smarter than me at driving? As he probably is. This fool. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I you swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Oh, oh damn, it's a train. Oh. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! 
I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Uh huh. How do I, uh... Oh, there we go. Now calm down! Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Come on, you silly sausage. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yeah, pretty much. You've been I a massive know. fool. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I know, I missed yeah. you, Arthur. It was close. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Okay. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. I didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Chelonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? Really? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. <laughs> Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you <laughs> want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, <laughs> he's wrong. Oh, really? I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, I want to try that. Well, Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples. Apples. Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines. Nice apples. Of carpentry or horses or something. But all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No <laughs> doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's okay. all in the past. Different people now. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Here we are. It's my horse. Sounds fun. We'll definitely give that a try. We going in then? Come in. Follow me, Sonny. Make it quick or I might run off again. I don't run off. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Jamie! 
Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. <laughs> but I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. To see you, Mary. She still got the hots for him. I've. You're. Oh, you'll never change. <laughs> I know that. That's true. Sir. I yeah. feel like oh. the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Shame. Mission complete. So, um, okay, did that. Nice. What I would like is a haircut. I'm gonna go get myself a haircut and a new. Let's get myself a new, a new look. I'm looking a bit disheveled right now. There's more. There's another game. We can't play more poker. You ain't worth two shits, whole damn lot of you. You're worth one. This guy. You've done harm here. Uh, one buffalo. One yeah. redskin. I shot 19 of them once. You well then? Well, buffalo, not redskin. Welcome. Oh no. Hey man. How many redskins Let's do that then. Let's get some. They deserved it. Or we need some new hair. So I sent him to hell. You should have thanked me. Huh? All you fools you should thank me. This is my current length. Yeah. Let's change the style. All right, okay. You gotta think it'll have the culture circle. Where is it? How do you um Ain't no wild west no change more the here. style? Ain't Don't change nothing. it. Bold. Nice. Oh, look at that, that's quite nice. Fancy man. More goddamn prissy women in men's clothing and women in women's clothing thinking they must be men. Trim. Can I change my beard? Oh, there we go. Look at you. Oh, make a fella sick. Soup saver. Should we go for a a goatee? What's wrong with you, fool? Let's go for a goatee. Where you got it? You be sure to tell him. Look at you. Looks pretty smart. My time. And it was goddamn men. You ain't men. All oh, they... lot of you. Look at evening. You ain't men. Right you ain't even women. You're. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Something else. Someone brought some new girls into town. You're oh, quite a stir. I think I'll get myself a, uh, some food. What? Can I have some food? Uh, Here it is. Thanks, man. Mm-mm-mm. He's dead.
Where's my horse? There he is. All right, mate. If it ain't our okay, man, huh? Right, let's see. What, what's next on the agenda? Oh, we've got a big old bounty over there. Yeah, we got him in trouble in Strawberry. And over here, we're Blackwater's like wanted dead or alive. So, you know, there's that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so we got the fox. Oh, yeah, maybe we should go and try and catch one of these uh, legendary things. Where, where's, where are they? Where's the legendary? What are we missing? Can't see the, we got the, we got the fox. Where do we go for the other ones? What's this? Where's oh, the fence? Uh huh. Yeah, we found that fence. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. What's that? Is that a wolf? See, we can't really go in that area without getting in trouble. So, what we could do is I don't know if we've been have we been in this area? What's this? Heartland's best or maybe we should go back to this place. I think there was uh there was bounties and stuff that we could get here, wasn't there? I might just get the train there though. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Go there. I'm gonna get the train to that city. That's my boy. <laughs> and see what's down there. Hello, I'd like to buy a train ticket uh, to there. Go your trip. Thanks. Thanks very much. Let's go.
Ok. Hey man. You followed me all this way. It was a fast it was a fast dry uh, ride you had. Or say. So what's that? A newspaper. Read all about it. You can give up the date. Okay. This. Dominoes. Table. Where should we go now, do you think? There's a fence there as well. There's a doctor there. And Smith. Show. Let's see what the newspaper seller has got to say for himself. I think I got off the wrong side of this train, didn't I? Go on foot, I think. Where is my horse? There he is. Hello. There's got to be some random stuff I can get involved in. Five bucks on him. I was a bit, I was a bit slow on the draw. <laughs> oh, what? He's closed. wasn't able to save the man in time. Hello, sir. This is my main horse. if we go in here show we go and watch a show hello welcome welcome buy a ticket 50 cents why not ticket for one please the show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth okay
Maybe you have to sit down. Folks, I'm going to tell you a morality tale from when our country was young, but the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. Oh, really? One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, Sad and bear. now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. <laughs> You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle. And he's getting it's so turtle, ton that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends. The turtle said, if Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. <laughs> Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. I feel like Chucking the bear is going to be bright in the end. Two shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. <laughs> Is this like um? Bear snored and this snored accurate? for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened, frozen oh, yeah. and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Okay, that was weird. Alright, well... I mean, the show was alright. I'm not sure it was worth 50 cents. Thank you. Hope it was a good show. Uh, it's fine. It was fine. Okay. Let's go. Um, where do we go? Everything's shot in this place. You're in the way, so move over, Sonny. Hello. Don't you 
send a coin to a felon in Should we give him some money? Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Thanks. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. Groveling here. Uh, uh, Has he got more stuff? No, we can't. We can't. I don't want to steal it off him. I feel like he's, you know, he's had a tough day. Why is that locked? That that um saloon. Fíjate por dónde vas. Well, hello. Yeah. Look Everyone's a liar at this table. That's no lie. I'm told the savages are giving businesses a terrible time up north. Hmm. What's happening in this place? Bonjour. Hello. Hello. Everything's more expensive. Lobster. Yeah, I may have to dump it. Have some lobster. Not bad, huh? Placing this. Thanks for your assistance. All right. Is there no, um, I'm sure there was a place to get, uh, bounties. Have I, have I had them all already? Is that, is that the deal? Ah, oh, bait shop. Well, okay. So there's a fence there. Maybe we shouldn't have come down here. I think the only thing left to do then is to go do this mission. But we're gonna have to pay this bounty. I think. What happens if we get the train to Blackwater? Can we do that? The only other thing is, we could go fishing. Let's go fishing.
problem with me? Yeah. No, no. Okay, boy. The doggo. Can't pat the dog. Hello. I don't Hello. think I know you. Welcome. How's it going, lady? So... Has she not got like a fishing rod for sale? Cause I, I, see that's hooked to. I need that. Hi. Very popular item. Get outside. Smell fresh. Not fresh. Get outside. You must be interested. I see you eyeing. I think, he, Don't I be think shy. he's been outside. Uh, I don't know what I, I thought I could buy a um Done did. We'll buy these. I don't know what these do, but we'll get them. I wanted to buy myself a fishing rod, but I'm glad she's got a fishing rod. I suppose then this is what we'll do we'll go and pay our, our bounty in this strawberry place yeah um i don't know if we have to actually go there i think we can just pay it wherever we are like the nearest Post place. Let's go pay our bounty. And then I want to go and see, try and do this next mission, then I guess. Hmm. Yep. 
was gonna, I was, I was thinking about going to save that guy. But we've got stuff to do. Squint ear tails. Yeah. Just a moment, please. Hi. Can I pay my bounties? Christ. You got the money to pay all that 300 off? bucks, man. Whew. You must have done something mighty bad to be worth all this. How about you get moving? We want to go to Strawberry. And we can't go there. Where do we want to go? Riggs. We can go to Riggs Station. Let's go there. Pleasant travels. Go to Riggs. At least we can't, um... Won't get arrested when we go back here now. Or try and they'll try and shoot me. Dutch Todd is trying to rescue Sean from the bounty hunters holding him in black water. Let's see what we can do.
So if I go down yep. here, right, I cross this river. Easy, boy. Is this too deep? Let's see. I think I can get up there. Uh huh. these guys how many a lot uniforms everywhere huh you see Sean no I don't think so yep to dudes damn it where's Trelawney who knows just hey. keep your eyes hey. where is that little Irish best I'm not quite sure Trelawney's off trying to find out has anyone been in the black water see how things lie place is crawling with Pinkertons bounty hunters and ah. pictures of Dutch and uh, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. What? the boat. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Okay, follow him. 
Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Right. You're in charge, right? Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Asta. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. Mm. There's Charles on the other side. Okay. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Okay. Follow him. Gentlemen, I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Crouch down out of sight. Take out your knife. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's you take the one on the left. Where is she? Okay, come on. Stay low. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose that. God damn it, Arthur. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. <laughs> I think you have it from here. Come on, let's get up there. You told me to We're take the guy on the left. Oh, for God's sake. I'm looting these guys.
Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Jeez. How do I use these cigarettes? Cigarette, why not? Uh oh. 
Does that mean the cops are going to be on the way? Let's get this place looted. Damn. Locked. Get out of here. Run. How did they know it's me? I mean, they saw like the back of my head. Got a bounty of fifteen dollars here. Damn it! I always got a bounty. Well, shit, howdy! We got a new song. I don't know what this is about. Come on, don't have to go down like this. You know how this goes. Reach nice and high. Okay, take it easy. Oh, help me! You move any farther, this is your last breath. Okay. No sudden movements. We're gonna go for a walk. You made this easy on yourself. I got busted. <laughs> busted. Do I have to pay the bounty now? Or what happens? I get put in jail. I was I was on my way to pay the bounty. Seems to be the problem. Twelve dollars. So do I still have to pay the bounty or what? Ha! The man that tried to kill me. Can't say I'm happy to have you back in here. All right, let's get those sins washed hmm. away. I've already paid it. Okay. Well, bye now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that here today. I think uh, well, we did quite a lot of stuff. I saved my game. Save, override. Uh. Yes, so. Save it. Okay, cool. 29%. We've done 29% of the game. Hmm. Okay. Right, I'm coming out of the game. Um, Thanks for coming by, everyone who has been here. And I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back here next Monday to continue this playthrough. And I'll be streaming on Twitch on Wednesday. If you want to join me there, I'll be playing some Seven Days to Die, probably. So, hopefully you can see you then. If not, I will catch you next time. Have a good one, and goodbye.